Summer has arrived, and a familiar voice can be heard again at many lakes in the area. The common loons have returned to their breeding grounds to nest. This is one of the only times that the loons will come up onto land. They build their nests in hidden spots along lake shores, typically with a steep drop-off to allow them to approach the nest from underwater. Because their legs are positioned so far back on their bodies, loons struggle to move out of the water. Both the male and female will take turns incubating the eggs for the next 28 days or so. If successful, loons typically have one to two chicks. Though the chicks can swim immediately after hatching, they will spend most of their time over the next 10 to 12 days riding on their parents' backs. With little mouths to feed, both parents will be very busy catching food and feeding the chick which will eat mostly small fish, leeches, crayfish, and eels. Most birds have hollow bones, however loons have solid bones allowing them to dive much easier for food. They can stay underwater for several minutes at a time and are proficient hunters. Loons do not have teeth, so they are forced to swallow their food whole or in large chunks. To help with digestion, loons will swallow small rocks which helps to break down the food in their stomachs. The fish this male loon has caught is much too big for his little one to eat, despite how many times he will try to feed it to the chick. The visual presentation of the fish is still beneficial to the young loon as it will recognize foods to eat later in life. As the morning fog has started to burn off, the loons are on high alert as something has their attention. A bald eagle sits in the trees overhead. Eagles are one of the top threats to the chick. But eventually, the eagle would fly away, leaving the loons to go about their business as usual. Eagles are not the only threat to the loons and their chicks. Another morning has come, and the loons are once again in a precarious position. Visiting loons have arrived on the lake. These visitors will sometimes try to kill a resident pair's chick. The resident adult pair will find a place for their chick to hide before swimming to meet the visitors. The loon 
Humans place their faces in the water, watching for any attacks from below. Any physical confrontation usually takes place underwater. They will use their sharp bills as a spear. As a defense, they will also begin their penguin dance as a sign of intimidation. All of the loons swim around each other nervously. But luckily, this time, there was no fighting or casualties. The resident pair escorts the visitors away from their chick and after several tense hours, they would leave, and all is calm again. The chick is growing fast. It won't be long before the parents will no longer allow it to ride on them. It has learned to dive and has started to fish on its own. but it will still be fed by its parents for a little while longer. Though the chick will have to spend the days ahead preparing to fend for itself, for now, there is no safer place than on its mother's back.